layers i got those clear that i think they are so absolutely beautiful some wooden cubes wooden dowels some hooks and also some spray paint in this case i'm using the enamel paint but uh, that can be just an option so let's start by removing the labels once I had that, now we're going to be using the drill and basically drill halfway holes in each cube, just like so. Alright, we had that. Now we're going to use the wooden dowels and basically I'm going to be placing on it. So here I'm just showing that I'm using hot glue, but I did use a little bit of wood glue first. So then the hot glue for a quick process. Alright, once I had that, I'm just going to leave it on the side for a moment. And now we're going to work with the reindeers. So first, remove the tag. So next, I'm going to be making some holes under the belly of the reindeer. So for this step, you don't need that specific tool that I'm using. You can also use the glue gum tip. All you have to do is just hold it for a couple seconds until the plastic start melting. Right after I did the hole, I went ahead and grab a dowel and create better shape on there okay so then i'm going to be attached them using e6000 so once i have them attached i just going to give you a really good coat with my enamel paint so let's go outside and do that i think they look absolutely beautiful already all i'm going to be doing here is just adding those little hooks because my idea is to use those reindeers as a stocking holders and for the final touch i'm just going to add some of this a uh, cute ribbon from the latria as well so i cut it in half just to make it thinner strips So, and then I'm just going to place it in each neck of the reindeers and voila! And there you have it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. You can personalize it how you like it. Add some berries or something else on it or even red scarf. I wanted something like that. So, I think it came out absolutely beautiful. But I always would like to know what you guys think. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I do quick and easy DIYs on a budget with recycled thrifting items and also Dollar Tree items. If that interests in you, I would love to stick around for more DIYs and be part of this family. How easy! Just by click the subscribe button, also the bell, so you will get notified every time I upload any video and you won't miss anything. So for now, let's keep crafting. Alright, for the next project, you will need two of those small canvases and also some bases. I got those that look like frosty and I think they are really cute. So first, I went ahead and removed the plastic and then all the staples to have all the frames. So once I had the frames, I just sand it a little bit just to smooth it out the edges. Then I'm going to use some black acrylic paint and give it a really good coat on it. And now it's time to assemble the pieces. So as you can see here, what I'm going to do is a beautiful centerpiece. So I'm going to try it out first how the bases will look. Once I was ready to glue, I'm going to be attaching them using E6000. So as you can see, I, I put it back again and I start the other way around. And for a quick process, I also add some hot glue on the bottom part. 
and there you have it i think it looks so cute already and now it's time to make a beautiful arrangement so for this one i'm going to use those frosting branches i think they're so cute and some berries and i think it looks so beautiful already so um, as you can see here i just almost done with that but then i realized i can add some fairy lights so i went ahead and add those and then place the, the floral picks again and there you have it oh my goodness i think it looks absolutely beautiful but uh, like i say i always happy to read you guys comments so let me know in the comments down below mostly dollar tree items except uh, the paint and also those cute ornaments right i also going to all right for the next DIY. those paint brushes handles and also some wooden beads so first i'm going to be removing all the succulents from the uh, triangles and also the little pen that come on it and all the glue as well Then I'm going to be give a really good coat with the white paint by Upper Barrel. Once I was done with that, now we're going to be working with the handles or dowels and basically cut in three different levels. I didn't really measure it, I just did it eyeballing and then used my my box and cut it. Then I smoothed out the edges with Dollar Tree sandpaper. And now it's time to paint all those pieces, the wooden bits and also those wooden planks that I found at Dollar Tree as well. And now my favorite part, let's assemble the pieces. So I started with the wooden bits. As you can see, first I did the rinse bit and then I went ahead and used the hot glue. But you can also use wooden glue. Alright, and then I'm going to place the other plank right on top. Then the dowels right in the same direction after wooden bits. And now we're going to leave that on the side just for a little bit and we're going to come back with the little trees and basically we're going to add some uh, black paint on the edges just to add some character. Next, with those cute ornaments, I'm going to remove everything on it and just leave them plain. I think those little lanterns are so cute. Those I'm going to use it inside the triangles, but before that, I decided to add some cute bows with that uh, buffalo check ribbon and also some greenery. So I went ahead and placed those right on the top as you can see. And then I just placed the little lanterns right inside and now I'm just going to be placing the little trees on the base. And for the final touch, I decided to use that wooden cutoff. It says Merry Christmas, paint it in white, and place it on the bottom part, and voila, there you have it. And I think those turned out absolutely beautiful. Alright, for the next DIY, I'm going to be repurposing those crates that I had used before. Uh, 
What I did was attach two crates and then cover the seams using some popsicle sticks and also use some Jenga blocks right on the bottom. So I'm going to be using that, also jumbo popsicle sticks and medium popsicle sticks and then the normal popsicle sticks just to use it as a divider. So I went ahead and laid the jumbo popsicle sticks, used the regulars in between just to have the same distance and then trace it down with the roller and then cut it. So once I have all the pieces cut, now I'm going to grab another popsicle sticks and place it on it to create the tree. So as you can see, I'm using the regular popsicle sticks just to use it as a guide to have the same space in between. And the last one, I didn't realize that I didn't left enough space, so I just placed it like that. At the end, came out really cute. And now I'm going to be doing the same thing, but with the smaller uh, craft sticks. Then I went ahead and smoothed out the edges using same paper. And then we're going to be just giving a really good cut with a white paint, in this case, upper bear. And once I have those pieces ready to go, I'm just going to assemble together using the box that we have before. And then just going to add some details using the uh, black paint and a little brush and just go uh, really soft on the edges just to create that really nice distressed look. And to decorate the box, I'm going to be using this ornament that says peace and I remove everything you can just leave that and I will, I think it will look cute as well but I want something really plain. Alright, so this box is basically complete and now, and now we're just going to decorate it with some garland and also some berries. And I'm also going to be adding a little pine cone here and there just to add details. So as you can see, I'm not using hot glue or anything. I just placed the garland right on the bottle just to use it as a base. And then and then with the berries, I just cut the stems like that. It's easy to displace the air rain spin. And basically, that is it for this one. Um, at the end, I just decided to add a little pine cones and on that greenery just to add more details or yeah, more character to the air rain spin. And yeah, that is it for this one. I think it came out absolutely beautiful, but I, I always like to know what do you guys think. So please let me know in the comments down below. Alright for the next DIY, this one is quick and easy and mostly Dollar Tree items as well. Those wooden snow gloves are just beautiful. I found those last year but uh, Dollar Tree still carry those this year as well. Alright so I'm going to remove everything on it and also send it the most I can to remove all the glittery and paper. But I'm not really worried about the background to remove it completely because now we're going to give it a really good cut with the white paint. So once the white paint was dry, I went ahead and used the black acrylic paint as well and paint the bottle part. And as you can see, not background showing at all with two coats. Alright, once that was done, now it's time to add the snow. So to be able to do that, I'm just going to use the match pouch and just place it on it and just tapping around a little bit just to make sure that there's no flakes it stays on it all right and look how cute those looks are ready all right so now i just go into embellishment with the i'm just going to add some beautiful ribbon right on the bottom part just to add detail i really like that a uh, frosty glittery 
white ribbon from Dollar Tree so I did add like two rows just to make sure it doesn't show anything else on the back alright and then I just made those cute bows using the buffalo check ribbon And for the final touch, I'm just going to be using those wooden cut-off letters that I absolutely love it. I have more projects coming up using those, so stay tuned for the next week. So all I did was just give it a really good coat with the black paint and also paint the details like the sun I had using the red and the white and the snowflake as well. And voila! Goodness, I just love it. Alright, to move on to the next DIY, we're going to do another snow globe. But uh, this one with the real snow globe. Alright, so here I'm using two different snow and also different cut, different sizes of little trees in the same river. Alright, this project is definitely simple and easy. And I must say, I really love snow uh, gloves. I always do with my kids. I did a couple last year using glycerin and but I, I did use the wrong glitter and came out kind of funny. But at the end, the kids had so much fun making those. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm just going to be placing the little trees using hot glue. And then I'm just going to place the snow on the container. And basically that and back the little lid or yeah, the little base and then the lid. That's how it goes all right and look how beautiful i just love it so now we're going to add some details to the lid just to make it look nicer so like i said before that beautiful glitter ribbon from dollar tree is just i just love it I, i've been using it a couple of hours already <laughs> all right so yeah i just add a couple dots of hot glue and place it on it and there you have it and basically here I'm doing the same that I did with the other ones except that I'm going to be using except that I'm going to be using those candlesticks that I think they are so nice and also adding some berries just to add more details. I did use a little bit of hot glue to keep it on the candlesticks but I don't think it's necessary. I really did only because I have my kids running around and, and you guys know how that goes. And that is it for this one. Oh my goodness, I think those came out absolutely beautiful. What do you guys think? Alright, for the next DIY here are the materials. I'm going to be using a old shell <laughs> piece that I had around and a stencil and also some little ornaments from Dollar Tree. Alright, I got this stencil for the company. I think they call Jing Hall, something like that. I will leave all the information on my description box below if you are interested. This project is quick and easy. All I'm going to be doing is just using the white acrylic paint and using this stencil 
and um and this is tends supposed to be like a long way but i'm doing it a little bit different and i think it looks so cute already All right, once I had this thing done, I went ahead and used some uh, wooden stickers, snowflakes, and just painted in white as well. And I also grabbed the pine cone garlands and I just placed it right on the top just to add more details. And here we go. I also decided to add some glitter with much bodge. And I will say, I, when I started, I'm like, okay, it looks beautiful. I like that. So, and I was so excited with the glitter. I normally don't use the glitter, but I, this is snow and I really got excited. All right. So once I started using the snow, I'm like, it looks kind of weird. <laughs> and then I realized it started to change in color, look like green, blue. So I ended up removing it a little bit. And then I'm going to use the other one from Dollar Tree, which is a little bit thicker. So here we go add more match pots and, and use a lot of snow on it all right at the end i think it came out so cute it's still showing a little bit the the blue green glitter <laughs> but I, I think it came out so cute All right, for the next DIY, you will need some bases. I got those cute bottles from a thrift store a long time ago, and I've been carrying from quite a while, and I have never been able to do anything. So finally, I'm going to work with. So uh, I thought about use the enamel paint, but uh, then I thought maybe I want to change it later on, and I just can watch it if I use acrylic paint. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and used this black acrylic paint. Then I'm going to use the pine cone garland and basically make a little uh, arrangement using three pine cones. As you can see, just putting it all together and then kind of twist it, the wire a little bit and cut. Right then, I'm just going to place that cute pine cone little arrangement and place it right on the on one other side of the bottle and I will be adding just a little bit of hot glue right on the top just to be able to hold it in place and then secure it with a AQ ribbon. And basically we're done with the bottles so to decorate them I'm just going to use some of those frosty branches and some large berries. And that is it for this one and I think those turned out absolutely beautiful, don't you think so? All right, for the first DIY, I'm going to be creating some cute frames, like a set, but I'm going to do it individual so like that you can appreciate every single one. So let's get started with the first one. So as you can see, everything is Dollar Tree items except the paint. So first, I'm gonna use the black acrylic paint and only paint the frame of that little chalkboard. So let's do that. All right, so we have our frame ready to go. So leave it on the side for a little bit. And now we're going to use the green acrylic paint and paint those little christmas tree all right the paint is dry and now it's just time to attach all those pieces on that little board so here we go as you can see i'm placing the big tree first and then the little ones right on the bottom just to create that really nice scene and i also going to be using that cute little star and place it right on the top 
I didn't mind that the little glitter on that one, but I did mind glitter on that little Christmas and uh, Merry Christmas sign. So I went ahead and used the same paper and removed some of that glitter on it and then used the white acrylic paint and just to cover some of the black uh, plastic and then use the red paint just to, to give it really full cover. Alright, so once I was done with that, I just placed it right on the top of the frame and then for the final touch, I used the glue sticks and the color white and just add some here and there just to create a really nice snowy look and that is it for this one and oh my goodness i just think it came out really cute Alright, for the next frame, as you can see, the items are similar stickers, uh, pearls, and also the paint. So I avoid that part, so I paint the frame only on the edges uh, as I did on the first one. And then I'm going to be painting those cute little stockings with the red paint just to remove some of that glitter on. And now we're going to be creating a little like a string using those cute little pearls from Dollar Tree. As you can see, I add some of the big ones in between just to add more detail. So once I was done with that, I went ahead and used my round pliers and create like a little loop just to be able to have it, um, to place it on the frame uh, flat. So I add a little bit of hot glue, hold it for a little bit, and there you have it. So then I just uh, arranged the little stockings just to make sure how I want to and then create like a little hangers using little pieces of one. And then I just attach them using a little bit of high glue on the little pearl string. And look how gorgeous it looks already. And then I use the same high glue in a color white just to create that really nice snowy look on the stocking. And for the final touch, we're going to use that wooden cut off the Sus Believe. And I paint the little Santa hat first, and then I'm going to paint the rest with the color green. And we almost done with this one. All I'm going to be doing after is just adding some snow as well on the side and place it on the top of the frame. I also add two more pearls right on top of the wire loop just to be able to cover that and have better finished look. And that is it for this one. Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? Let me know. I would like to know. Alright, for the next frame, I am going to use the same chalkboard and some little Christmas tree, a little red truck, and also a joint side. I have this other Christmas tree that is white, and I already had removed some of the back just to have the flat surface. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with the little ones. Alright, once I have the little trees cut on the back, I'm going to use the same green acrylic paint that we used before and give you a really nice uh, coat on it just to give you a more uh, realistic look on those little trees. And also I paint the little joy sign in the color red. And this one is quick and easy. I'm just going to be placing the little trees on the board, the little red truck and also the joy sign right on the top part. And we're going to also use some snow right on the bottom of the little trees and also on the truck just to create that really nice snowy look. And basically that is it for this one. All I did after was just place the little side right on the top and voila, there you have it.
write for the next DIY this one is quick and easy and awesome. <laughs> alright so I got that little Christmas tree I didn't find the ones from Dollar Tree so I got that one on Walmart and I believe it was like a six dollars so yeah and i was really excited when i found it because it has the little round base and i thought automatic thought i could put it on a bucket so i got that cute little bucket from dollar tree and also some less of wooden beads that i had around all right so here i'm going to be doing is just creating a little garland first so i have showed this step before but I, I always like to show anyway so like that you can see how easy to paint wooden beads using ziplo bag i really love this technique i add some of the paint and then i just throw it on the bags use the blow dryer or just the heat gun and i really love because some of the paint gets stuck on the cardboard so uh, then you ended up with some really nice texture or I don't know rustic look on those little bits i absolutely love it so i always do that and i just love it like i say i think i'm repeating myself so many times all right once i had that uh, and then, then i, I create my own little using a piece of twine and there you have it i also add some of the pearls in between just to add that really nice touch Alright, so now let's decorate that little bucket. So I got that cute little ribbon that I'm going to be honest, I found this one around Valentine time. So I just save it and it's perfect for Christmas, I believe. Alright, so I just add a little bit of hair glue and place it right on it and there you have it. And I, then I just going to add other on the bottom part just to add detail. And I think it looks gorgeous already. I'm going to be using some of those pebbles uh, and place it on it just, uh, just to be able to keep that little bucket in place and not move around with my little tree. And then just place the little tree on it and add more pebbles right on top just to have that really nice sturdy base. Okay, so now I'm just going to add those cute lights that also from Nola Tree and I used two packs on this one and I think it covers a lot the little tree and I love it. Then I just going to use that snowy branch it and cut it in pieces and then just stick it on it just to create that like flock flick flock it's snowy look on my tree. I think that sounds better. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> that little tree just with the snowy branches and the lights up looks absolutely beautiful but i thought the pine cones are always a nice touch so i went ahead and used the garland the dollar tree sells and also the special wooden bead garland that we did and as a final touch all i did was just add a ornament star and place it right on the top and voila there you have it I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. It's so beautiful. I'm going to be repurposing that container that I had used before on another centerpiece. Also some leftover picks. Alright, so I'm going to start by removing the uh, ribbon that I had used before. Then I'm going to refresh the color on the bottom part I had used before the dark granite. But on this occasion I'm going to be using just regular black. All right, now it's time to add the ribbon and basically I'm going to add one string on the top part and also another one on the bottom part. So let's do that. I 
a little fresh paint in different ribbon and in that base looks gorgeous already <laughs> looks like new Alright, so now it's time to create a cute little arrangement. So here I just are going to add some of that garland just to create the base first and some garlands here and there sticking out just to add dimension. And then some pine cones, some poinsettias and some of those some snowy branches and also some silver berries. And basically that is it for this one and I think it came out absolutely beautiful and the most important part is it's so easy, it's so inexpensive to do. Let's over green it is embedded from last year. So I went ahead and removed the little frame that came on the middle part and then removed the excess of glue. Alright, now I'm just going to be leaving the little window on the side for a little bit and I'm going to be creating a little riff. So we have the base of the reef and I think it looks so cute already. So now I'm just going to be adding the berries right on the top just to create that really nice uh, traditional Christmas reef. And look how cute. So now it's just time to add the little ribbon and also the bow. So I basically the extra ribbon I just going to use it to be able to hang the little reef right on the window. So I put it through the hole right on the top, add a little bit of high glue and voila. Then I add the little bow right on the top, just with a little dot of high glue. And there you have it. At this point, you can just leave this window as it is, and I think it looks so cute. But I had this cute um, Joy Galvanized side from last year, and I just place it on it. As you can see, it's not right on the middle of the window because I uncovered that part with the bottom part of the little reef because I left some space on the bottom to be able to add some of that frosty greenery right on the bottom just to add more details on it. Just like so. And for the final touch, I'm just going to add some of this cute ribbon that I got from Walmart last year just to be able to cover the little stems on it and also add more details to the little window. And basically that is it for this one and I think it came out so cute. So, but I always want to know what you guys think. So please let me know.
for the next DIY, you will need one of those shadow boxes or frames, however you call it, from Dollar Tree. I have used it already, so the inside is already painted in white. Some Christmas cards from last year, so we normally throw away those, but I say few because the pictures were so pretty. So I thought, you know what, I can save those and make something cute with them. <laughs> so here we go. So I grabbed this one with a little red bar on it and just cut it at the edges to place it on the frame or box. And then I also going to be adding some of this frosty greenery right on the top part and also on one side. And I just love it. That will cover the top part and you will not even see that that was just a Christmas card. So basically this is a simple DIY but it's so beautiful. The picture on that card was just absolutely gorgeous that I, like I say, I had to save it. So then I'm going to be adding this cute little ornament and just place it on the side just to add more dimension to the frame and I also add a little cute bow right on the top. And that is it for this one. Look how quick and easy and absolutely beautiful. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. For the next DIY, you will need one of those plastic. Down. Shit. I was so excited when I found those. <laughs> a candle holder and some leftover Christmas tree. So I'm going to remove the top part and paint the bottom part of the cloche using chalk paint and the color chiffon cream. The paint is dry and now it's just time to add the stuff inside. So I'm not going to be adding any hair glue on it. Like that I will be able to decorate it different if I want to change it. So here I'm just placing the little trees and the little LED candle and place it on it. And then I just place the top part. Now, on the bottom part, I'm just going to be adding this cute ribbon just to add some detail on it. The snow globe looks so cute already. So now I'm just going to bring back the candle holder to be able to place it on it. But here I'm just showing that it's wiggly because the snow globe has like a thing on the bottle. So it wasn't flat. So I went ahead and grabbed a leftover popsicle stick and placed it on it to be able to have a flat surface. And then I just placed it on the candle holder and there you have it. All right. I had to confess that I had to hold it for a couple minutes uh, to be able to keep it straight otherwise it was just kind of back and forth but uh, after I let it dry it really came out really nice. Alright, so then I decided to add some ribbon around the clear uh, part uh, on the bottle without cover the white part. So like that, you won't be able to remove the clear part later on if you want to change something like I'm going to be doing in here. So I decided to add this little tag at the end and I didn't want to place it outside of the glow. So I removed the clear part and then I did add a little dot of high glow for this one just for the little ribbon. So like that, the little tag will be hanging from the outside part. You will see that in a little bit. And then I just placed the clear part on it. And there you have it. Absolutely beautiful. I think this one is my favorite. So what do you guys think?
that you will need another recycled Christmas card <laughs> and a little house, vanilla tree and some popsicle sticks. So here I'm just going to be removing everything on the little house, the stickers and also the paper on it. I don't think it was really necessary to remove the paper but uh, sometimes that's the way we craft. <laughs> so I did remove that, something came out but that's okay. So now I'm just going to be cutting the little car and then just place it on the little house and trace it down to see where exactly I need to cut. So I went ahead and did that. Once I was ready with the car, I went and add a lot of high glue and place it on it. Just like so. Next, I'm going to be finishing the frame of the little house using the popsicle stick. So all I'm going to be doing is using a little bit of stain just to match a little bit with the top part of the little house. And then just add hot glue and place it in each side. This little house looks so cute already but I thought something is missing so I went ahead and add some of this ribbon right on the top and uh, trying to line up with the popsicle sticks as you can see and I also going to be adding some on the bottle part. And we almost done. So for the final touch, I'm just going to be grabbing a piece of paper and mark it down the shape of the little house and cut it and then just place it on the back. Like that, we're going to have a nice finished look. And I thought I finished with this project but then I thought I need a little ball right on the top <laughs> or right on the other side. I just like to make little balls and place that on my project so I thought why not? Let's make a cute ball and place it on it and look how cute. So now yeah now we're done. <laughs> so I think it came out so cute but I also want to know what do you guys think. So please let me know in the comments down below. The first idea this one is quick and easy but I must say this one is my favorite. Alright so I went to IKEA and I got that beautiful cutting board and then I used my Cricut Maker to create those cute vinyls. So I create two. What I love about this present is or gift idea is that you can use it all year long. Alright so as you can see this one is related for Christmas so I just going to be placing using the easy press. Make sure that you check the heat guide when you use the easy press like that you know exactly what kind of temperature you need in this occasion i used a regular iron vinyl and, and the temperature was 300 for a 45 seconds so once i was done with the one side that's how it turned out and i think it looks absolutely beautiful Alright, so now for the other side of the cutting board, I made that other cute farmhouse sign that I think is absolutely beautiful. I just love every single phrase on it. And so to make it easy, I always like to cut small pieces when I use the item. So let's do that. At this point, our first idea is almost complete, but I for 
a final touch I'm going to be adding also this little hand towel that I also made on another video a couple weeks ago and also adding this beautiful ribbon so I'm creating here like a gift a look just to make it just double knot on it and I also add another ribbon right on top just to add more details and for the final touch I'm just going to be adding some little jingle bells and also some greenery and there you have it that is it for this one i just love this gift idea because you can use it all year around just by flipping around and there you have it Let's keep on going with the next DIY. Alright, for our next gift idea, I'm going to be personalizing a candle. So I decided to get that cute coffee mug from Dollar Tree and also some little candles. You can this is only an idea. You can also go and grab a better candle, better quality, and a nice smell that you prefer. Alright, or for the person you're going to give it. So this is only an idea, but I think it's beautiful and it's actually quick and easy all right so i got my water warm and then i just left my candle into they were melted once the melt the candle were melted i went ahead and removed the wick and i placed it on the coffee mug and then i just put the wax on it before it was completely dry i went ahead and used some glitter and place it right on top just to add that really nice Christmassy look. The wax is dry and the candle looks absolutely beautiful but as you can see my coffee mug was a little larger than I, what I told but I think it looks cute anyway. Alright so then I'm just going to be adding some detail like that cute ribbon and also some snowy branches and berries on the side just to add that really nice details. And there you have it, a beautiful candle. Now to complete our gift, we're going to be adding some cozy socks on it. So I'm just going to be making a little roll. So because the coffee mug was a little wide, so I went ahead and kind of just split it out a little bit. And then make the little roll on it. And then I'm just going to be placing it right inside of the coffee mug. Then I'm just going to place that little jingle bell with the tag. So I'm going to attach those with that little string so and then I just basically going to add those like hang it on it like using the belt right on top of the socks like that the tag will be hanging as you can see and there you have it that is it for this one I think it's so easy but a so cute idea what do you guys think Before to move on with the next gift idea, if you are new here or if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I do quick and easy DIYs on a budget. So if that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around for more DIYs. So for now, let's keep crafting. For the next gift idea, what about something warm and cozy? You can never go wrong with some hot chocolate, waffle, and also a scarf. Alright, so I got that chocolate and some cute jar I just going to put on it. But before to place the chocolate on it, I'm going to place those yummy waffles right inside. And then I just going to pour the chocolate in, as you can see. 
and now we're just going to place the lid on it and look how nice it looks that jar all right and for the final touch some little details some ribbon and also and also the cozy and beautiful scarf so here i just fold it a little bit just to have the same height of the jar And then I'm just going to use a little string to be able to uh, keep the shape of the scarf really nice and then be able to place it next to the jar. Alright, so now that we have the scarf, we're going to place it with the jars like I mentioned. So I'm here, I'm using that beautiful glittery uh, white ribbon to tie it together. And when that was done, I went ahead and just add some of those little details right on top of the scarf just to add some really nice touches. And for the final touch, a cute little bow never go wrong. <laughs> and also a little tag so you can write the name or something on it. So here I'm just showing the make sure you don't touch the scarf with the high glue. And there you have it. I think it's really quick and easy but a beautiful gift idea. For the next gift idea, this one is quick and easy as well. I have some cute stencils that I want to use in that bag as well. So I went ahead and did that. So here I'm just showing that I'm using two different reds to get the color that I was looking for. So once I had that beautiful red farmhouse color, I went ahead and used the stencil. So here I'm just going to be adding some tape just to make sure that the stencil don't move and then basically use a little bit of the paint on the stencil brush as you can see i basically clean it completely and just left a little bit and i will continue doing that little by little so like that you will not have any dripping on it and this is my favorite part remove the stencil is so satisfied all right so i will continue that with the rest of the stencil And that is it for this one and oh my goodness I just love how this turned out. And I hope you're still around because I have another quick and easy idea for you. Alright, if you have like a niece or a little girls around the family that you want to give something cute, what about a little nail polish set? So I got that one on Walmart I believe and I think it's so cute and I thought I would make a cute snow glow. So let's do that. I'm going to remove everything from the original box. Alright, we have the cute little bottles out of the original packet, so we need the snow glow. So I removed the paper that come inside and then also the inside part as well. But uh, before we place the little bottles inside, I'm going to use like a small piece of popsicle stick and basically like use that as a reinforcement. So I'm going to wrap it around with some uh, tissue paper. Alright, and then I'm just going to be using a little bit of hot glue and place it on the inside lid. And then from there, continue adding the little bottles. Mm -hmm. 
then with the James little packet I just add a little bit of hair glue and place it right on the popsicle stick I also placed the, the tweezer right on the back and and the other bottle right on the top on the front part and then I just place it on the snow glow. So I did add some fake snow on it and some pine cone as well. But then I thought I should add just cotton balls and it would be better. But you know what? I will add the cotton balls later on and just put it separate. <laughs> Alright. So for the final touch, we're going to be just placing the lid. So just to add some detail, I used that cute ribbon and I covered the edges first. And then I'm just going to be making a cute little bow, place it on the side and voila. That is it for this one. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.